Hi kids! Today we will learn about tenses and we will begin by learning about simple present tense. So let's start. Whenever we are writing or speaking, there is always a reference to time. We either talk about something happening in the present, past, or future. I go to school daily. This statement is in present tense. I went to school yesterday. Here, we are talking about something that has happened in the past. I will go to school tomorrow. Here, we are talking about something that will happen in the future. So every sentence is either in present tense past tense or future tense. And it is the verbs in the sentence that show the time and decide the tense of a sentence. There are three types of tenses. Present, past, and future. And these tenses are further divided into more tenses according to their relations with time. Present tense. Present tense is further divided into four types. Simple present tense, present continuous tense, present perfect tense, and present perfect continuous tense. We will learn about these tenses in detail in our next assignment. Past tense. Past tense is further divided into four types. Simple past tense, past continuous tense, past perfect tense, past perfect continuous tense. Future tenses. Future tense is further divided into four types. Simple future tense, future continuous tense, future perfect tense, future perfect continuous tense. Now let's learn about present tense. Simple present tense is used for talking about our regular actions, things that are always true, for expressing our thoughts and feelings, for giving commentaries, reviews, and much more. Let's learn with examples. We use present tense to show a fact or something that is always true. Examples The sun is in the center of the solar system. The dog guards our house. Carrots like to eat chilies. Teacher teaches us the values of life. A geologist studies the solid and liquid matter that constitutes the earth. The sun shines bright on a sunny day. It gets too cold in winters. Here, all these things are always true as they are facts. That is why we have used present tense here. We always mention our daily routine in present tense. I work in my office from 9 to 5. I take a bath at 8 in the morning. I have my breakfast at 9, lunch at 2, and dinner at 8. I brush my teeth twice a day. I go for swimming classes daily. He plays tennis every day. All these sentences tell about the daily routine. So we have used present tense here. We always use present tense for expressing our opinions, thoughts, and feelings. We should always respect others. She is a talented girl. He is an honest person. All these sentences express opinions, thoughts, and feelings and so they are always expressed in present tense. Timetables and schedules are also expressed in present tense. 
The zoo opens daily from 8 to 7. The first train for London leaves at 5.30 a.m. There is a cricket match at 6 in the evening. The Dell Mall is open from 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. Commentaries, reviews, and narrations are always given in present tense. Headlines of newspapers and magazines are generally given in present tense. Instructions are always given in present tense. Now let's learn some rules for forming the present tense. It's the verb that makes a tense in the sentence. If we are making simple present tense and the noun or pronoun in the sentence is singular, then we add s or es to the verb. Gracie likes to participate in dance competitions. Here, the subject is Gracie and the verb is likes. The subject is a singular naming word, so we have used likes and not like. And in case of I, you, and plural nouns or pronouns, we do not add S or ES with the verb. Here are some examples. Girls like to dance. Here, the subject or the noun in the sentence is girls, which is a plural naming word. So we have used like and not likes. Let's have a look at some more examples. She eats slowly. Here, she is the subject or the one we are talking about and it is the singular pronoun. So we have used eats and not eat. Rita plays with dolls. Here, the subject is Rita and since it is a singular noun, we have used plays and not play. So kids, we have learned that if the subject is I, you, or a plural noun, or a pronoun, we do not add S or ES to the verb. I like to eat ice cream. Here, the subject of the sentence is I, and according to the rule, if the subject is I, then we do not add S or ES to the verb. So, we have used like and not likes here. You dance very well. Since the rule is that when the subject is you, we do not add S or ES to the verb. So, we have used dance and not dances here. They always play with a football. Here, the subject is they, which is a plural pronoun. So we have used play and not plays here. So remember, with I, you, and all plural nouns and pronouns, we do not add S or ES to the verb. We sing, play, and dance together. Since we is a plural pronoun, we have used sing, play, and dance, and not sings, plays, and dances. She sings, plays, and dances with her friend. Here, our subject she is a singular pronoun, so we have used sings, plays, and dances, and not sing, play, and dance here. So kids, today we have learned about tenses, their types, and also learned about the present tense in detail. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.